previously on Game of Thrones. But now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. Last house standing wins. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. What you need more than anything is an ally. I have to get in there, Sarah. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. You owe me for this. You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. Take this traitor away! Save your life and our house. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. Hear the werewoods whisper. I haven't seen any werewoods this far north. The forest of sigil. Those look like ironwood trees. The north grove. Beneath the watchful eye of the ice dragon. The ice dragon? That must be it. We're close. I think I found it. You found it? Are you sure? We can't afford to waste any more time. Not with the condition he's in. You just have to trust me. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? Which is nowhere anyone in their right mind would be. We're close. I know it. I believe you, Garrett. I hope you're right. I don't know how much further he can go. We need to keep moving. <gasps> His wound is getting worse. Oh, it burns. It burns like all seven L's combined. Oh. Listen, Garrett. I know I'm not well. And up here, up here that can get you killed. But you've always been there for me. If anything happens, I want you to leave me. You take Sylvie and don't look back. Promise me, Garrett. I need to know you'll do it. I won't leave you behind. Not now. Not ever. I don't want to hold you back. If Sylvie gets hurt because of it, or you, I mean this, Garrett. If I'm gone, Sylvie will need someone to look after her. I know she's stubborn and proud. But she's a good person. You know you can count on me. Thank you, Garrett. I know she can hold her own. But she's still my little sister. What are you doing? I found Nightshade. 
It's poisonous, but in small doses it can help with pain. It's rare this far north. We can use the nightshade to make Cotter more comfortable. Right. It'll help keep him calm, too. In the right amount. Luckily, I know how to use it. Can you help? See this? Whatever made this must be enormous. Claw marks. Gods. It's not frozen. Must be a fresh kill. Torn apart. Garrett, this has to be the North Grove. Oh, finally. Look at this place. I could hardly believe it's real. Fuck. Whoever they are, they can help us. Hurry! I need all your strength. We need to get to that village. Help us! Do something! Hi, Vs. Rip his 
present House Forester, our squire to Lord Gregor himself. Marjorie, please don't send me back to Highgard. Finally, you grace us with your presence. I was beginning to think you'd found someone else to serve. Sorry if I kept you waiting. I came as quickly as I could, my lady. I'll get to you in a moment. Do you realize how precarious my position is with Cersei? Of course, my lady. Of all the people in King's Landing, you steal from the Queen Regent. I didn't mean... Did you know about this? Sarah's been stealing wine. From Cersei, no less. As if I haven't got enough to worry about. No, my lady. It doesn't sound like something Sarah would do. Is that so? I had no idea. Really? Half the servants in the keep are talking about it, but somehow you're in the dark? Where's my seal? I haven't seen it in weeks. Do you know where it went, Mira? Do you think that our thief here pocketed it too? Oh, my lady, please. I, I would never steal from you. Uh, I have the seal, my lady. I was holding on to it for safekeeping. Oh. Well, at least it's found. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's not right to accuse without proof. It's just... I need order in my household. Until I'm married to Tommen, I can't afford any more mistakes. I have no choice but to make changes among my handmaidens. Tommen's garden party, Mira. What were you thinking? I can't believe you'd be so irresponsible. I expected better of you. It was a foolish mistake, Lady Marjorie. We shouldn't have disobeyed you. At least you're honest about it. Sarah's been saying some damning things about you, Mira. I suspect in an effort to save her own neck. My lady, please! You've said enough. One of you must answer for this. Sarah says you used her to get you into the party. You've been with me a long time, Mira. When I'm queen, I'll need people I can count on. Please, tell me this isn't true. Please, Mira. I don't deserve to lose my position for this. My lady, I... I'm sorry. Sarah's telling the truth. This has been building for some time, Mira, but it still breaks my heart. I've been nothing but good to you. I've put up with your schemes. I've even tried to help you and your family where I could. And you repay me with this. I feel... betrayed. I won't have it. You'd have done the same in my position. Don't tell me what I would or would not do. Consider yourself dismissed from my service. But, 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 my lady... Get out!
Mira, wait! I'm so sorry. She was so angry. I, I didn't know what else to do. You saved me from being sent home. I can't believe you did that for me. I expected I'd be on my way to High Garden by now. But you stood up for me. Maybe I shouldn't have. It's cost me a lot. But what's done is done. Well, thank you anyway. I know you didn't have to. I wish things had turned out differently. But I suppose this is goodbye. I'm not sure when. I'm not sure we'll see each other again. You need to learn to be a better liar if you want to survive. King's Landing is no place for the good-hearted, Sarah. That may be you, but it's not me. Then you should think about getting out. As soon as you can. There's something I need to tell you. Something I heard. There are some vile rumors going on about you. Rumors? About you murdering a Lannister guard. I thought you should know. Thanks, Sarah. Careful, Mira. You're on your own now. They're right behind us. Less than half an egg. Seems you were right. I know that Snotnose bastard Griff. He was sent to kill me. Not Roderick. He wouldn't run home to his father without trying again. Listen close. I want the road surrounded. Ride hard for Ironrath. Don't turn back. If this goes to hell, they'll need to know about Roderick. Yeah! Lay low and be ready to strike the moment I give the order. And what order is that, Asha? Take no prisoners! Seven hells! Take them! Kill the Protestants! No grip. Oh, he's a bloody coward. Mm. Yeah, your brother was the coward. You should have seen him squeal. Oh, when Griff gutted him like a pig. <laughs> My lord. We're going to kill them all for this. Roderick. I wish I had known him, Asha. I'll never get to drink with him, fight by his side, complain about what an ass his little brother is. People loved him. If he said a thing, people believed it. Roderick. He kept this house together through, through sheer force of will. And my brother was a true lord. They'll sing songs about him someday. But you're the lord here now, like it or not. 
by the laws of your land. And to these men, you've more than proven yourself. I'll do what I have to. Till every last White Hill is dead. After that, we'll see. Fair enough. My lord, forgive me, but Lud Whitehill will be on the move. Let's move! How could this happen? It makes no sense. He died a hero. Gregor was a hero. Ethan was a hero. Now Roderick? It means nothing to me. It was his sacrifice that enabled us to escape. The last time I saw him, I stormed out of the room. Talia, mother. Listen to me. We don't dare take time to mourn. Not yet. Lord is sure to move quickly now. He could be at our gates before nightfall. But there's hope yet! I've brought help! Warriors from across the narrow sea! With no equal in Westeros! Whatever their skill, they are hardly an army. My lady. I've seen them in battle, twice now, and I've seen Asha lead them. They're a force to be reckoned with, and they'll be more than equal to whatever Lud can muster. How can you say that? We've already lost. What are you talking about? Ramsay Snow. He came here. He set terms of war. He said the last house standing wins. And with the Lord of House Forrester dead. Lady Elena's not wrong. By Ramsay's term, this war's lost the moment the Boltons learn of this. Where I've come from, terms aren't worth the bloody paper they're written on. As far as I'm concerned, this war has just gotten started. Asher will lead us. Asher is our lord. Asha, I wish this were a happier occasion, but this sword has been held by a Forester Lord for centuries. Now, it is yours. All hail Asha Forester, Lord of Ironrath. Defender of the Ironwood Groves. My father never trained me to be a lord. This was supposed to be Roderick's sword, but I was trained to fight. And by the gods, I will defend my father's house to the last breath. House Forrester will prevail this day! <laughs> He's lying. Look at him. He's a crow. He doesn't represent the foresters. Never seen a crow this far north of the wall. Must be a deserter. I don't trust fucking deserters. And you're traveling with a wildling. 
All the more reason not to trust you. We're not your enemy, says the man who wounded my bear, who came here uninvited. I could have killed you out there, as easily then as I could now. He's a warg. The bear likes your kind even less than I do, so I suggest you shut your mouth. Your blade pierced his shoulder, and I felt the pain as if it were mine. You couldn't possibly understand what that's like. But I could make you understand. Enough, Josera. He claims to serve House Forrester. Anyone could say as much. What proof do you have? If you'd have us believe it's not a lie. I was given this by Talia Forrester before I left. It's the Forrester sigil. Made from ironwood. Harida Is. You trust this crow? That necklace is Forrester Ironwood. No one else could craft it as well. My friend is wounded. He won't live long without our help. Hi, Vis. Wait! Where are you taking him? Who is this girl? Is she a prisoner? Why else would you be traveling with a wildling? I promised to protect her. A wildling girl? I swore nothing bad would happen to her. I told you we couldn't trust him. My name is Elsera Snow. This is my brother, Josra. What is this place? A refuge against the forces of darkness during the long night. A place of great power to those who know how to use it. I assume that's why you're here. You're a long way from home, aren't you? There must be a reason you've come all this way. Lord Gregor's last words before he fell were, the North Grove must never be lost. What do you mean, last words before he fell? Lord Gregor was slain at the Twins months ago, betrayed by Walder Frey. You didn't know. Of course. How could you? He has no idea who we are. Why would he? You're right. He's just a messenger. All he did was use some ironwood necklace they gave him. Why should we trust him with anything? They clearly didn't. Otherwise, he would know. Lord Gregor was willing to trust me. If he was, then you can too. He wasn't the best judge of character. Perhaps Lord Gregor never told anyone. I wouldn't be surprised. Better to hide his shame where no one could find out. Whites. Gregor went Fend and Bjornen. This is the gift the Grove gives me. I control these warriors. What about them? Hiftonies. What? No! Let me go! Did they teach you to fight at Castle Black? I hope they did. Otherwise, you're likely to die. I'll fight. But only if you release her. I knew you couldn't be trusted. Maybe you're the one who should be tied up. We don't have time for this. The dead are coming. I'll untie her, but she'll need to be watched. That's one less warrior, so I hope you know how to fight. Thank you, Garrod. Of course. There's something wrong with them, Garrod. 
Those warriors. They're not normal free folk. Not like any I've ever seen. Ready. Aye. Lady Mira, wait. Tom, what is it? Guards, they're searching your room. Break it down. Search the place. <gasps> they're coming after us for the murder. Come on, we can't stay here. What's going on, Tom? Sarah said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, my lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. What? That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, my lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. Anonymously. You mean, someone's plotting against me? What was in the message? Murder accusations, most likely. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you, if they catch us... We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. They won't touch us if we're with her. She'll protect us. Lady Marjorie dismissed me. For good. What? What for? It's not important. Just... We can't count on her. Then we've had it, Lady Mira. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? Being near me is dangerous, Tom. Y you should get as far away as possible. Appreciate the thought, my lady. But we're in this together. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. Whatever it is, we can't stay here. Things are too dangerous for me here, Tom. I need to get back to Ironrath. There's a collier store by the river gate, on Muddy Way. The owners are like family. You'll be safe. From there, we can get you out of King's Landing. Who's there? Show yourself, or it'll be worse for you. Get to the Colliers. Tell Godwin and I sent you. Goodbye, Lady Mira. Cold boy, take him. Your sister said he was building an army. We can thank Mira, it's not larger. But we'll lose if we go up against that. He doesn't expect us to. He's trying to frighten us into surrender. I want every bolt aimed at Lord Whitehill the moment he appears. Ryan. Crossbows up! Asher Forrester! Show your face, boy! Ryan! He 
That's frightened, father. Anya! <laughs> Are you here to sue for peace, Lord Whitehill? Lay down your arms, and I'll spare your lives. <laughs> That's very funny. I've missed your unique sense of humor. But no. I'm here to end this once and for all. You got your little revenge on my men. But it's time you listen to reason. I could ram your gates down and kill every last one of you. Or we could end the bloodshed here and now. This war is over, Asher. It ended the moment Roderick fell. By Ramsay's rules, I'm the victor here. This will all be mine now. One way or another. You put too much stock in Ramsay's terms, Lord. Terms set by a madman. Terms that I never agreed to. You really think Lord Ramsay will ask if you're in favor of his terms? Before flaying you alive for breaking them? Let's put all this ugliness behind us. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. Surrender? Open your halls and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine. For all to see. By wedding my Gwyn. <laughs> well, fuck me. Asha, you can't! It's rather generous terms, actually. And if I tell you to go fuck yourself? <laughs> Look at my fucking army! If you want to die, I'm more than happy to oblige! I would just as happily kill you all and be done with it. But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, I brought home the body of your lord. Your brother was too stubborn to know when it was over. Roderick, let me see him. I want to see my brother. <clears throat> I'm sure your people will be relieved to keep their lives. We'll take Ryan too. But you want peace between our houses? Give me my living brother. You have an hour. I'll be waiting in my camp. I'm sorry, little brother. I've buried too many sons. Maester, take my brother's body. He will join Father and Ethan in the grove. As you say, my lord. But... Forgive me, I, I just... Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. We simply accept. We bow our heads, and Asher marries Gwyn. Craven! It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. I may have loved Gwyn once, but 
this isn't real. The Lord will have my head the moment Gwyn produces an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow our heads now, we'll always be his slaves. We have to kill them, Asher. I piss on surrender. Let's ride out and kill them all. Aye. We ride for war! We ride! Spill their blood! Believe me, I want to kill every last fucking one of them. But Lord still has Ryan. A direct attack is a sure way to see another forester dead today. But there may be another way we could win this. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say-so. There may be 500 men outside that wall. Without Lord of the lead. They'll scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. That's good, but how? Lud will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, but Lud is wary. We simply need a ruse to separate him from his army. To get him alone and feeling safe. And there's one way to do that. We tell Lud exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. And then? Then an ambush. Your pit fighters strike from the shadows. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Things could go badly quickly. Lod could escape. There's another way. Poison. In his wine. A woman's weapon. Yes, and a good one. Lethal and direct. Either plan is a high risk. We only lure Lud inside if the whole family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be in danger. I'll be there, Roiland. I'll pour the wine myself. Poison is dog shit. You're here for revenge. You want him to choke on your blade, not his vomit. I understand the risks. But an ambush is the best way to kill as many White Hills as possible. Then we have a plan. Whatever happens to me, I need you to get Ryan out alive. As soon as we move on, Lord. Not a problem. You know you're the only family I've ever had. That makes Ryan my brother, too. I won't forget this. I've forgotten the number of times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. We will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. Send word to Lud. We'll drink this night to the prosperous future of our united houses. She's left the keep! Search the area! Lady Mira. There she is. Take her. What's all this? I'll tell you on our way. You're making a big mistake. D don't you know who this is? Doesn't matter who he is. We're here for you. This is Lord Rickard Morgren, the most powerful ironwood merchant in King's Landing. One word to your superiors, and he'll have you carted off to the wall. Rickard, tell them how far you'd go to protect your friends. Lady Mira, I hope these men aren't bothering you. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to... Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mira? The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate. Quick as you can. What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? 
They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was sending cell swords to Ironrath. I couldn't let that happen. <laughs> no need to explain to me. I'm glad he's out of the way. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood Market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we worked together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. Working out that Andros was in league with the White Hills, you showed an understanding of King's Landing that took me years to gain. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. I knew it! I never should have trusted you! Of course not. You should never trust anyone in King's Landing. That might have been your only mistake. But a costly one. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. You're making a mistake, Morgren. Lud will turn on you the first chance he gets. You're a fool if you don't see that. Tell me, Mira. Who is the fool here? You or I? We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Oh. Lucan, fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. You've got the wrong person. I... I've done nothing wrong! Shut your liar's mouth! It's time you answered for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mera. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. No one at Ironrath knows of this. Not that I've ever heard. I suspected as much. Jocera would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Few try. And fewer still live to tell about it. I wouldn't have made it alone. I had help from my friend, Cotter, and, and Sylvie. But they were following your lead. You were the one who was sent by House Forrester. 
Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming, and we haven't much time. Gregor Ven Fionn and Bjorn Sager Ven. Svealod Mopre Befastan. Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong, but you keep looking at him. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Now his watch has ended. You fought well, for a crow. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. But then, my expectations were low. Is that your way of thanking me? Maybe I was wrong about you. We'll see. Killing them I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. Did 
Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Emotion is a weakness, according to her. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. They seem... fearless. That's what they've been trained for. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my sister's doing, not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. Here, let me help you. I'm fine. It's nothing. I should return to the village. Fulgorn Bisonir. Did you not hear me? Fulgorn, Suna! <laughs> What? Wait! Fulgorn Bisonir. You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. One day, they'll kill us all if we're not careful. There must be something you can do to stop her. She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Einrath. To crush our enemies south of the Wall. And avenge his death. We can't leave the North Grove. And stay here to die. I'd rather live. I know what my father said. The North Grove can never be lost. But he wouldn't want us to die because of it. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling. like they didn't make it to the block. Oh God, oh, those are human teeth. Jailer, please. Shut it. Please come here. How strong are these bars? I wonder if I can pry it loose. I wonder what she's done. <clears throat> uh, hello? I excuse me? What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Cause if not, I don't wanna know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, no talking. Jailer, Jailer, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why well, don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Well, tell me, please. I'll do anything. Just tell me. Ugh, bastard. Before the day's over, they'll take us straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the father, whatever gods you believe in. I'm sorry, I, I meant no offence. But we have to keep our heads held high, even when everything else is taken from us. I have a son, a little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin, his tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do, nothing, just to hold him again. Dignity is worthless compared to that. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. People will tell your son about you. Stories about what you were in life. Give him a story he can be proud of. But you've no idea what I've done. Doesn't matter what we've done. All that matters now is what we do next. Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. What? Nothing to say? Block will do that to you. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face. Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said, and I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely betray me the first chance he gets. And I realized I'd overlooked something of great value. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed, Mira. Kingdoms, too. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Why would I do that? What's in it for me? You keep your head, of course, and I'll get you out of here. But if you don't value that, think of your bloodline, your precious Forester legacy. This is your chance to make sure it carries on. What are you talking about? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> One way or another. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. If all this happens, I want revenge against Lud. Promise me he dies. Let me be clear, Mira. You're in no position to make demands. 
When it's fitting our betrothal begins in a sound, I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? Good. She won't get far. Not out here. Sylvie! Uh, it's my brother! I, I wasn't finished! <laughs> when you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I thought he was getting help. Whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. There's nothing that will save him now, which is why I needed to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but that's when they found me. The nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. But it's our way, Garrett. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. You're the only one who can. Are you sure this is what Cotter would want? I know he would. We'd never let free folk suffer. You'll see. He's in so much pain. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. This is for Cotter. You can't give him that. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. <coughs> Garrett. Garrett, is that you? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? She can't see you right now, but don't worry, she's fine. I thought, I thought they took her away.
checked. Still thin. Ah! <sighs> Carter! Oh, I can't bear it anymore! Oh. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. Carter's a fighter. Always has been. I can see that. But now you can use this death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I'm honored. Thank you. It's well deserved. Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. His beating heart. And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. Why me? Can't you do it yourself? Not alone. I'm far too weak. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett. Please. I can't take it any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. Let us use his blood to give us strength. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. Cotter's my friend. I wouldn't be here if not for him. And I have to respect what Sylvie asked me to do. Then so be it. Gorn Vice and Air. We must burn the body. In the name of the King, I hereby sentence you to death. charged with murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to his crimes? My betrothed can speak to them. Is this true, my lady? My lady! Then in the name of the king, I sentence you to die. Lady Mira, please! Please, this isn't right! Help me! Oh. 
Come along, Mira. I have a busy day ahead. Your fighters are in place. Keep the White Hills calm, and as soon as they're all seated, give the signal to strike. Remember, no matter how much they might provoke you, we must let them think they've won. That's them. Here we go. Gwyn! Clever. Send the girl first. Don't let her play with your head, little brother. Lady Forrester, my apologies for arriving unannounced. I was hoping I might have a word in private with Asher. I think we can agree these are not ideal circumstances. Agreed. But these are the circumstances we find ourselves in. I know how you must feel, Asha. What your family has suffered, it's unimaginable. Which is why the bloodshed must stop. I agreed to your father's terms, didn't I? You did. But I know you, Asha. You're not the one to roll over so easily. You don't like being pushed into a corner. It's not in your nature. It would be a lie if I said otherwise. I appreciate your honesty. I'll need that from you if this is to work. You have to understand. I've risked everything to bring peace between our houses. To meet with Roderick in secret. To tell him of the traitor within these very walls. To make sure no harm came to Ryan as our ward. All while persuading my father that bloodshed would end if we were to wed. I have no ulterior motive. No hidden agenda. Just peace. Once and for all. I trust you, Gwyn. I know you've lost a lot, and... And I'm sorry. But things will get better. Truth be told, my father's scared of you. Is he? With Roderick, he knew who and what he was dealing with. But you, he thinks you're dangerous. You proved as much when you attacked his men. They came after us. I know. And that's all in the past now, I promise. We can make this work, Asha. This is our one chance. Together we can control the future of our houses. Just promise me, when my father and brother walk through that door, nothing will happen that could threaten that future. Our future. I need your assurance. Nothing will happen. I promise. Nothing will happen. Thank you, Asha. I knew I could trust you. Sorry to intrude, my lord. But Lady Forrester is in need of your help. Of course. I should go. Thank you, Asha. What help does my mother need? Sorry, my lord. It's all that came to mind. But we have everything in place. How should we proceed? Ready the men. Consider it done, my lord. I'm sorry it's come to this, but at least it's done. Where's my son? Right to it, then.
have him back when we've hammered out the details of your surrender. Lord Whitehill. Asher. Now, who'd ever have imagined this? You, welcoming me into your hall to drink your wine and call me father. <laughs> I thought I'd seen the last of you when Gregor shipped you off to the other side of the bloody world. You honor us, Lord Whitehill, with your presence. And with this union. Honor you? I didn't take you for an arse licker, Forrester. Father, don't bicker. Asher's showing you respect. Somehow, I doubt it. Would you like to sit down, Lord Whitehill? Aye, and get us something to eat. I'm bloody starving. We thought you'd like to sit here, Lord Whitehill. I'll sit there. Thank you very much. In the Lord's chair. It's not like your father wanted your worthless ass in it. It's just a chair. By all means, sit in it if it makes you feel important. What? What did you say? Something not very friendly, father. What are you up to, Forrester? You curtsy like your sister one moment, then act the blowhard the next. Do you even have any idea how thin the ice is here? Calm down, father. Asher's been amongst sellswords so long, he's forgotten how to behave. Teach him some manners, then. Rather odd. That Talia's not here, isn't it? And your banner men look a little tense. What are you playing at, Forrester? Something's not right. I can feel it. Calm yourself, Lord Whitehill. There's no reason to get upset. Say what you want. I know what I see. See, that's the trouble with you, Foresters. No manners. <laughs> I knew you couldn't. <laughs> Now! Goodbye, Asher.
If they breach the gate, we're done for. We can't fight the entire White Hill Army. <laughs> My lord, your wound. Get them to safety. Of course. But I won't abandon you, not again. Please, mother. a long way to die. <laughs> Let's see you live up to your reputation.
pues. from ice. My lord, we have to get you out of here. I'll be damned if I let another lord die on my watch. Save yourself. You must survive, Asher. For the house. For all of us. I did the right thing. I did what I had to do. He was your friend. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives. Now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason. To protect the North Grove. Winter is coming. And we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how forced or fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. Gregor trusted you for a reason. You know defending House Forrester is the right thing to do. You're the one they sent, Garrett. You should be the one to decide. I will respect Lord Gregor's dying words. 
The North Grove will never be lost while we breathe. We will defend it. Previously on Game of Thrones. But now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. Last house standing wins. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. What you need more than anything is an ally. I have to get in there, Sarah. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. You owe me for this. You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. Take this traitor away! Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan the Bold. <laughs> With his bulldog sentinel at his side. As if I'd be afraid. And I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. That day Cersei dragged her before the throne, Grandmother, I was actually worried for her. But she didn't have any trouble swearing loyalty to Joffrey right in front of me. And then, after that whole business with Tyrion, I thought she knew how to stay loyal when it mattered. And then that letter she forged to Elena Glenmore, as if I wouldn't find out. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened, the gods know what Mira was doing behind my back. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the godswood. Yet before a day was out, her brother was dead at the foot of the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger, and it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. Back from the twins with balls so shrunken he let Griff White he'll beat him into the mud in his own yard. Reek, I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. But he didn't even have the courage to stab me with my own blade. But then, he jabbed out that fourthborn's eye. I was rather starting to like him. A shame he didn't last longer. Roderick, a savior who couldn't save anyone. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was rude and aggressive, mind you. But he, he didn't play games. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. And he impressed me. He followed my every command, despite what it cost him with his companion. For that, he earned my help and my respect. Loyalty, friendship, respect. Without them, we have nothing. I think, in the end, Mira came to understand that, Grandmother. 
She could so easily have turned on Sarah to protect herself. But instead, what she did it took grace. If you're fierce enough, you leave King's Landing with your honor intact. Mira has proven that. But at what cost? I could have told you this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Roderick dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I'm not unfamiliar with these foresters. Stubborn to the end. They were passionate. I'll give them that. But they were ruled by their whims. Impetuous when they should have been shrewd. Noble and just to the end, but weak. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead, the war is over, and they lost. Asha? My lord. We haven't much time. They may have won this battle, but they will not win the war.